Hey guys, uh, I wanted to do a quick video here on a problem which I scoured the internet for a solution to and the information was pretty uh, pretty sparse and pretty incomplete actually and um, I don't know maybe this problem is kinda unusual or unique to people that live in the northeast where they drop all kinds of salt on the road um, but and that's definitely what caused most of the problem but anyway uh, it's a 08 Subaru Outback um, got about 80,000 miles on it had it about six years uh, anyway so the problem is was that the hatch latch would freeze up or was frozen I'd pull it back and the hatch would open but the hat, but the latch wouldn't release back to its uh, normal position, and uh, I sprayed it with WD. I got WD-40 and uh, um, uh, uh, lubricant and all kinds of crap up there to try to free it up. I figured it was probably rusted, but I, I you know, I thought that was the problem. I wasn't 100 percent sure, but uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, I did that a few times. It didn't, it didn't help at all. Um, so. Basically, uh, I'm going to step you through. I'll explain what I did to, uh, to fix it. I'm not going to go through it again. Uh, a, bit of a bit of a pain of a job. Actually, it didn't take too long. Now that I know how to do it, it wouldn't take, um, it wouldn't take me long, very long the second time. It'd probably be, if you knew what you were doing, hopefully you will after this video, uh, if, if you knew, it'd probably take uh, an hour. You're probably... To take care of it in an hour uh, cleaning off the latch well you'll see that that takes a little bit of time too so maybe an hour and a half anyway okay real simple here to get this to get this latch out uh, first thing you want to do is pull these these are uh, I don't they call them like uh, what do they call them uh, uh, some kind of fasteners uh, plugs whatever they call them I don't even know uh, but those are just they're kind of uh, fitted in there I mean most of you have probably seen these types of plugs before uh, you got to be careful pulling them out I guess you can break them uh, I was careful I'd put a get a couple screwdrivers in there one on one side try to pry it up and then get a, a, a fatter screwdriver on the other side they'll pop out uh, I didn't have a problem I don't think I even came close to breaking these there's four of them you got one, two, three, four. So you get those out, and that, that lowers the bottom part. There's still plugs holding this uh, holding this uh, trim, this big trim piece on inside. But the next step is to pop these shoulder trim pieces off right here. Okay, because there's a there's a plug on the main trim piece holding it in underneath here. So you need to get to that. And it's easiest if you just pop this whole thing off. Two, two, two clips holding that in, it'll pop right out. Uh, you gotta do the same on this side. Be careful, uh, there's uh, the wire harness in here, but it's got some play in it. You'll see it's clipped into there. Once you get that off, uh, then, okay. So now, now you've got these two shoulder pieces off. You can now pull the plugs for this. That'll release the top corners on this trim piece. And then really it's just, uh, I think, like uh, three or four plugs going across in the center holding it. So if you just, you can, you can look in there. By that point, it's flexible. It's flex enough. You can look in there and see what I'm talking about. But you just go ahead and pull and they'll pop out. Uh, just kind of be careful. Don't, don't bend the whole the whole trim piece just be careful work close to where you're trying to pull the uh, plug out. oh and you can pop these out too these uh, be careful with the flathead they'll pop out there's just eight clips going around the side they'll pop out that'll give you a visual into uh, getting the uh, clips out and then that comes off that whole piece comes off now at that point you have access to uh, to the bolts that hold the latch uh, assembly on. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, at that point, don't don't even bother. Uh, you don't need to loosen the bolts yet. But you basically, you gotta 
ultimately you have to take the bolts out that are holding that in and then there's a, uh, a cable a cable with uh, you'll see if you put a flashlight in there you can see real good uh, it just pops out it's got um, a, what do you call it a, a ball a press ball onto the end of it it's just a cable similar to any cable with a lock on the end it, it fits into a plastic piece just you know just like a throttle cable and that's how this that's how this latch ends up operating the uh, the uh, release uh, for the for the hatch um, okay, so now you get the inside trim off. Uh, the trick to this, which I couldn't find anything on the web about this. Nobody mentioned it. Maybe it was specific to the 08 model or what. I don't know. But uh, the next thing is you have to remove the outer trim piece. And actually, it's not that big a deal. I was fighting with not wanting to do it for a little while. I thought maybe I could flex this up enough. But you can't get this thing out just by flexing this up. There's uh, two uh, legs on either side of this metal tab sticking out way too far. You can't get it. You'll risk breaking this. I was getting frustrated and pulling hard at one point. And I finally decided, okay, I got to figure out how to take this off. Anyway, it's really simple. You'll see if you look in. They have, uh, of course, this main trim will be off. You'll look in there. You'll see the uh, the uh, the nuts holding on the the welded. There's welded welded threadings, welded you know bolts, studs, I guess, um, sticking out of sticking out of the uh, uh, outer trim piece. So then uh, you just unscrew all those, and then you can lift it right up. Uh, careful, the lights are attached to it. Uh, it's no big deal. The cable has play in it. This will come up. Uh, then you can unbolt. If you haven't already, you can unbolt the latch. Pop the latch out. And then uh, then you got the latch out. As far as uh, the problem, it's pretty obvious once you've got it out. You'll see there's rust uh, crammed in between the plastic actual latch and the bracket that's holding it. First thing you just need to do is uh, pop a pin out. There's a pin holding that. That's the hinge pin. And that will pop out. You just have to kind of unpeen the end. You could take some pliers to it and unpeen the end of it. And it will come out. The best thing to do is put it on top of your vise with a vise open a little bit and just pound down. Uh, I used a drill. I actually used an old drill bit to help me push it through. Uh, once you get that pin out, the plastic piece comes off. Careful, don't lose the spring. There's a spring. It's real simple. It's just the uh, hinge because the hinge pin goes through the spring and holds the uh, you know acts as the spring for the latch. Um, and just make sure that doesn't go flying on you. Get all the rust off. Uh, I used a file and I used sandpaper to uh, get the rust off the hinge pin. The hinge pin will have a lot of rust on it. And that's it. Um, I sprayed some, uh, I sprayed the, uh, the metal where the plastic contacts the metal. I sprayed it with some uh, uh, rust release, uh, WD rust release. Uh, you know, I, that'll probably help it last a lot longer. Um, the problem will still happen again, but, you know, this is, this car's probably six, seven years old. And, uh, you know. This is the first time I've had to do it. So if I have to do it again in another six, seven years, like I said, it'll be much quicker the uh, the next time. But now this uh, hatch works as good as the day I bought it. So anyway, that's how you do that. Hopefully I covered everything and it's not confusing. I think a video like this is better than stepping through it. Uh, I assume most people watching this are probably mechanically inclined know what I'm talking about here. Um, but anyway, uh, if you have any questions, post comments. Uh, otherwise, I uh, hope this helps and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.